हेलो फ्रेंड्स एज यू ऑल आर अवेयर दैट इंडियन मेडिकल एजुकेशन सिस्टम इज ग्रेजुअली मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द मोर एंड मोर क्लिनिकल ओरिएंटेशन एंड प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो दिस वीक्स एम सी क्यू विच आई कॉल इट एज अ नेक्स्ट लेवल एम सी क्यू बिकॉज द प्रपोज एग्जाम फॉर इंडियन मेडिकल ग्रेजुएट्स इज द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम सो द नेक्स्ट लेवल एम सी क्यू फॉर द वीक वॉज दिस इट वॉज रिलेटेड टू द सी एन एस एंड टू बी प्रिसाइज सेंसरी सिस्टम सो लेट्स चेक द एम सी क्यू एंड डिस्कस द आंसर ए मैन हैज इमर्स इज राइट हैंड इन द वॉटर हैविंग टेम्परेचर ऑफ फोर्टी डिग्रीज एंड लेफ्ट हैंड इन टेन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड वॉटर ओके फॉर फाइव मिनट्स he has hold he has held his hands like this immersed in the water right hand in 40 degrees uh, left hand in the 10 degrees then after 5 minutes he removes both his hands and uh, puts them in 30 degree centigrade water both the hands what will be his temperature sensor uh, temperature sense immediately after placing the hands in 30 degree water that was the question and uh, the options were right hand feels cold now and left hand feels warm look uh, first of all 40 degree and 10 degree for 5 minutes so right hand was already feeling warm and left hand was already feeling cold and then he removes both his hands and puts them in 30 degrees okay so uh, keep that in mind right hand feels cold now and left hand feels warm or right hand feels warm and left hand feels cold or both hands will feel warm now or both hands will feel cold now or i uh, one uh, extra option from my end both hands will not have any temperature sense so what was your answer many of you have tried to answer i have already put up this mcq on my social media platforms so let's have a look at this answer and why the man would feel so okay this mcq is related to the receptors in the sensory system so um right hand was placed in 40 degrees left hand uh, placed in 10 degrees and when both hands are removed and placed in the 30 degrees the immediate sense will be right hand will now feel cold and left hand will feel warm even though both the hands are in 30 degrees that is same temperature yet right hand will feel cold and left hand feel warm after placing the hands in 30 degrees why let's try to understand this mcq and its neurophysiology involved in this okay so uh 40 degrees 10 degrees right hand left hand and then removed both hands and placed in 30 degrees so what will be the sense okay now first thing is this is about the uh, receptor physiology in the sensory nervous system talking about the receptors there are receptors for touch pain pressure temperature proprioception etc and based on the property of adaptation there is a property which is called as receptor adaptation based on this property the receptors are classified into two two categories some receptors are called as rapidly adapting receptors also called as phasic receptors and the others are slowly adapting or even non adapting receptors and they are called as tonic receptors let's understand these property this property of the receptors look uh we don't feel the clothes on our body after wearing them for some time why is that because the touch receptors in the skin are adapted to the stimulus so initially they respond but when the, even if the uh, stimulus is continuously applied the receptors stop responding this is called as the property of adaptation by the receptors and this is important because uh, 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 the brain should not be burdened with uh, unimportant information coming from the periphery so receptor adapts and stops discharging the signals to the brain even though stimulus is going on okay so uh, the receptors work like this 
rapidly adapting receptors. When the stimulus is applied, initially the receptor will respond briefly. And it's a large discharge by the receptor, but uh, for a short duration. And uh, then this is called as the phasic discharge. Okay, a large discharge, but for just for some time, min min millisecond, milliseconds. So, uh, uh, milliseconds, yes. And uh, then when the stimulus is continued, the receptor stops responding. And then when the stimulus continuous stimulus is removed, again the receptor discharges briefly. Again the receptor responds briefly. Okay. Again it discharges uh, phasic bursts of action potentials. So this is a phasic activity and such receptors are called as phasic receptors. Now what is the importance of this phasic receptor? They only detect the changes in the environment rather than the steady continuous environment. Look, what is the phasic receptor? When the stimulus was applied, the receptor responds briefly and because that is a change in the environment, uh, stimulus has been applied. And then stimulus continues to go uh, to occur, continues to be applied, but the receptor does not bother. I mean, uh, it stops responding. And then that continuous stimulus is removed Again, the receptor responds briefly because again, removal of stimulus means change in the environment again. So again, that is detected and the receptor responds briefly. This is called as phasic burst of activity and such receptor is called as the phasic receptor. So uh, it is mainly to detect the changes in the environment. The other type of receptors uh, are tonic receptors, slowly adapting or non-adapting receptors. So, as long as the stimulus is there, the receptor responds continuously. At low frequency, action potentials are generated and they are sent to the cortex and cortex is made aware continuously. Receptor does not adapt to the stimulus. The stimulus is going on and the receptor continues to discharge the impulses. So uh, that is the uh, tonic receptor. Tonic discharge means a low frequency discharge but a continuous discharge. That's called as a tonic discharge. So uh, such receptors are called as tonic receptors. As long as the stimulus is going on, the receptor continues to respond at a slow frequency uh, rate but continuously. So receptor does not adapt. Pain receptors are tonic receptors because pain uh, indicates that some damage is going on in the body and therefore receptor does not adapt. It continues to discharge uh, to the brain regarding that damaging stimulus. So these two are the types of receptors. Now coming to the main point, temperature receptors and you must note this point that the temperature receptors are tonic phasic receptors. Make, mark this word. Some receptors uh, are phasic, some receptors are tonic, but temperature receptors are tonic phasic receptors. That is, they show both these properties. Let's see how. Now I am standing in a room with the, uh, with the AC switched on and having certain temperature, let's say 22 degrees. The temperature receptors, let's say cold receptors, they are firing tonically. They are firing continuously. And uh, the cortex is being made aware that this is the ongoing steady temperature, room temperature. Okay. But then, the, uh, well, this was the tonic uh, behavior by the temperature receptors. But then, if the temperature is suddenly changed, let's say uh, ice is placed in the hand, what will happen? The skin temperature will suddenly go from 37 to 0. There is a sudden change of temperature. Uh, then, those temperature receptors, they respond briefly. They respond physically in a phasic manner. What is the need for this phasic discharge? 
the uh, the phasic discharge by the temperature receptors it shows the direction of the change of temperature that is like as i said uh, ice is placed in the hand that means local temperature local skin temperature goes from 37 to 0 that means temperature is suddenly decreased this sudden change of temperature and sudden decrease of temperature will be indicated by the cold receptors cold receptors will fire physically as a phasic burst of activity and it will make you aware that this is a cold sensation sudden change of temperature or if suddenly the temperature is increased then the warm receptors will fire this is this phasic discharge is just to show the direction of that change of temperature sudden change of temperature right so that is how the temperature receptors behave they are tonic phasic receptors they show both properties if you have understood this then it wouldn't be very difficult to understand this mcq right hand was placed in the 40 degrees left hand was placed in the 10 degrees okay so this was going on for five minutes continuously that means right hand must have been feeling warm and left ha hand was feeling cold okay uh, then suddenly both hands were removed and placed in the 30 degrees now right hand is going from 40 to 30 degrees that means suddenly the temperature is lowered that means which receptors will fire physically now so far there was a tonic discharge going on for five minutes but now there is a sudden change of temperature from 40 to 30 degrees right hand that means now cold receptors will fire briefly and right hand will feel cold uh, left hand was in 10 degrees it was feeling cold and now from 10 it is shifted to 30 degrees that means now the warm recept receptors will fire briefly and uh, it will give the sensation of warmth so even though both hands are placed in the 30 degrees that is same temperature but right hand will start feeling cold and left hand will start feeling warm only for a few seconds it was uh, it will be a phasic discharge for a few seconds okay just to show the direction of change whether decreased temperature or increased temperature suddenly so uh, that is that was the answer to the mcq right hand will feel cold left hand will feel warm in the same 30 degree water but last point but 30 to 32 degrees is called as the thermo neutral zone means in this range there is no temperature sense below 30 degrees we feel cold i'm saying normally not in this case i'm saying generally 30 to 32 degrees is a thermo neutral zone means below 30 degrees we feel cold and above 32 degrees we feel warmth okay and this is the thermo neutral zone so after initial phasic burst of potentials by the two hands uh, eventually the person will not feel the temperature because 30 to 32 degrees is a thermo neutral zone so after let's say half a minute or so there would not be any temperature sense for uh, in this individual uh, hands are placed in the 30 degrees so that was the mcq based on the property of receptor called as receptor adaptation and unique property by the receptors they are uh, temperature receptors they are called as tonic phasic receptors